Hello and happy Friday. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to the channel, Fridays with Brandon. Today is episode number 96 of Fluke Fridays. And what we're gonna talk about is, again, not a Fluke product today, but actually an Ampro product. Um, it's one that I don't get asked, asked about very often, but I thought that um, it's unique and maybe we can talk about it. It is actually a milliohm uh, meter. So if you need to test low resistance and don't need to uh, micro ohm meter, this might be the tool for you because it's a lot less expensive than micro ohm meters on the market. And it, it might be able to test that lower resistance that you might need. And it could be for testing windings, um, comparing the resistance from um, phase to phase in windings, or you could be looking at um, bonded connections, different things where you might want a really, really low resistance. So this specific meter, I'll see if I can pull up the specs for you, kind of show you those, but I think it goes down to 100 micro ohms um, is the lowest uh, resolution it has. So let's jump into it. Okay, so this is the specifications in the user manual. So you can see the measurement ranges we're gonna have, accuracy specs, test current, so on and so forth. So we've got that and I will show, I might show another image later, but this is kind of an image of how we're gonna set this thing up. So you're gonna have two test leads connected to one side, the thing you care about the resistance on, RX in the middle, and then two test leads on the other side. And the reason this is um, unique is because we have four leads, the instrument itself will actually ca cancel out the resistance of these two leads and the resistance of these two leads so that when we're measuring resistance, we're really just getting the resistance across here. So that's kind of the theory behind the higher resolution in resistance and why you care about this. So what we're talking about today is the MO-100 or milliohm meter from Ampro. This is what it looks like. It's not very big. And it's got a bunch of instructions right here. Again, same diagram on how to do the four wire test and kind of show you what the instrument looks like. So you, when you go through this, um, the first time you turn it on, it'll show you how to test and make sure that the fuse is working and what you're supposed to do. So um, you'll, you'll take the test leads that come with it and you will connect them color coded into these different spots. Once you do that, you'll see that kind of your preliminary checks, you should probably always do these, is you're gonna turn the switch um, to the instrument on, you're gonna short out C1 and C2 together and push the test button. So C1 is the black test lead, and, or actually C1 is the green test lead, and C2 is the black test lead. So we'll short those out, we'll hit the test button, and we should see no LED light turn on, which we don't. That's a good thing. We do hear it beeping annoyingly at us. And then it says um, we should verify uh, short circuit C1 to verify that all ranges on C1 are not lit. Okay. And if we, that's what we want. And then when we're wanting to do a test, we will see. If we do these two shorted out and these two shorted out, it will give us these lit up for us. So I've got the red and green shorted and the black and blue shorted. And when I hit test, you'll see they both have continuity. So we're good to go. And we get tested in every range. Okay, so that's what we would expect. And then at that point, you would hook them up with a resistor in the middle and you will just get the resistance of that there in the middle. Um, and it can do very low resistance. I don't know how much you guys are gonna be excited about this tool or not, but I thought it's a tool that I do get asked about from time to time and that it's worth having a video out there. So if you're looking at the MO100, that's kind of what it looks like. 
Um, you can download the user manual online at amprobe.com if you want to just get all the specifications and how to use it um, beforehand, um, before you can, can potentially buy it. And yeah, I think that's it. Have a great weekend and take care.